Let's see, I just got these like, just got these wing fragments. Oh, I don't really know what to do oh, with them. God. I have one too. Oh, I have yes. one too. I put it in my pocket. They just kind of twitch occasionally. It's a little weird. Punch the blue hair person with the streak in there. You. What? Sorry, the voices. The. Huh. Oh, okay. So that is a thing that everybody. Okay. Hmm? Somehow it's not overly alarming, that. though. I'm not hearing anything. Really? It's like little voices all around. Yeah. They say funny stuff. Telling me I need a weapon. They told me to punch you. Well, then that's pretty sound oh. advice for the weapon, not necessarily the punching. God, I didn't know I got teleported with Linux. Okay, got Ooh. it, got it, good. Maybe okay. your voices are just quiet today. Maybe. That or I always had them, and so I don't see the difference. <gasps> well, sounds like a building we're actually allowed, eh? It's relatively cozy. Oh, oh it's so cute in here! They've got little hanging plants! There's Look a girl at this! Here if we want to talk to her. I want it! Like a plant on the shelf. Oh, that's adorable! So many plants! There's so even a person here. There is an abandoned There's croissant. Yeah. The girl excitedly sips at a bottle of apple cider. Oh my goodness! You have to try the apple cider here! It's so good! I've been having it once a day for the past five days! She takes another sip and her eyes roll back in her head in utter bliss. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I swear it keeps getting better and better! Wow, she really likes that apple cider. You know, I thought you um, kind of two were the weirdest I was going to encounter, but I may have to uh, amend my list. The woman at the counter seems panicked about something as she rushes back and forth. Oh dear, oh dear, this can't be happening to me! I've never been late before! She frantically looks in some cupboards and cabinets. Where are all my extra ingredients? Are you all right? You good, or...? She looks back at you and shakes her head. Yes, no! Ah! She slumps forward. I'm sorry, I'm not usually so... crazy. I'm just stressed out right now. She snaps her fingers at you. I don't recognize you. Either you need to the village or you're one of the chosen. Um, do we tell her the truth, guys? There's not a sign above our head. We're chosen. Yep. You got us. Yeah, sure. We're welcome. Uh, feel free to look around and get acquainted with everyone. Uh, we don't have much, but we're always happy to see new faces. Especially at a time like this. She motions to herself and places a hand over her heart. My name's Rachel. I'm a shopkeep around here. I specialize in food and drink and other such goodies. I'm also fairly well versed in town gossip, if you're interested. Have you Ooh. seen a Sky Island? What's the latest gossip? Um, yeah, what's been going on in town? It's no mystery that there are monsters in this world. There are plenty of dangers in the wilderness if you don't know how to avoid them. However, I heard Tammy mention lately that there was a huge creature lurking in the shadows toward the south. Apparently, it had glowing eyes and glistening talons and teeth. It got fairly close to the village, too. She shivers. Hopefully, Tammy was just exaggerating. If she wasn't, then a creature like that could really cause problems for our little town. Noted. Right. Thank you for the information. I appreciate it. We're probably interested in what they were stressed about. Yeah. Oh, it's exactly. no big deal. I just have a tradition of sorts that I'm a little behind on this year. She points out the window toward the shrine you came from. That shrine belongs to the goddess of balance, Aluna. Every year, I place some goodies inside. Things like cookies or my town-famous apple cider. They're nothing special, just some offerings to Aluna. But this year, as I was about to prepare the offerings, I found that I was low on a number of my ingredients. Man, we were supposed oh. to get food? Well, what do you, what do you need? A couple of apples, some sugar, and most importantly, some sweet berries. She motions toward the snowy mountains behind her shop. I get the berries from the mountains behind us, but the trek isn't always the safest, especially lately. I won't have the time to run up and grab some berries from the wilderness. We we, we could help? We can? Yeah, we're glad to help. Really? We... Do something like that? Oh, thank you. Genuinely, it would mean a lot to me. She clears her throat. <clears throat> Finding apples and sugar shouldn't be too difficult, but for the berries, all you have to do is go north from the entrance to Alune's shrine. You should find some bushes in the mountains from there. All right. I mean, if we get apple spider out of it, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I had some of 
Abel's apple cider, and that was really good. And I like apple cider, and this person says that the apple cider here is really good. So that is more true. apple cider. Yeah. They did really yeah. like it's it. It's worth it, you know? Still so, much. sugar, sweet berries, and that's a the mountain. Now, or do we want to keep looking around the village? We should uh, probably see what all we, there is to do. Yeah, I don't think we're necessarily a rush. So I say we just go around first. It's a large okay. town, deceptively so. Village. Who is this? Hmm? Halt! Before you have a chance to get a word in, the teenage boy holds his hand out and stops you in place. State your business in my turf! Excuse me. Huh. Excuse me? I haven't seen you around here before. I want to make sure you're not a threat or anything. He circles around you curiously with a hand on his chin. Hmm. You don't look dangerous. Actually, you look kind of cool. And strong, too. He beams. Wait, are you one of those chosen people I've heard about? <gasps> they called us strong. That's us, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Either way, you look awesome. You, you're perfect, actually. He starts to rub his hands together. Let me ask you something. What do you know about hunting? Specifically, monster hunting. Uh-oh. Uh, oh no. Um, why do you why ask? Do you ask it? Why, why, why? I'm curious. I want to know if we share the same views. If we do, then I might just do you to be my next adventuring buddy. He places his hands on his hips. You see, I'm this village's resident adventurer, but you can just call me Mal. Mal? Mal? Hell. And no, I do not give out autographs. My mom told me that I was using up all our papers, so I had to stop. Uh-huh. Right. Anyways, you didn't answer my question. What do you know about monster hunting? I know what the term means. Um, yeah, I don't like cockroaches, specifically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, depends on the monster, depends on the hunting. <laughs> Whoa! His eyes sparkle. Then you really are perfect for the job. You can join me on adventures and... However, he cuts himself off. Wait a minute, hold up, Mal. I can't just make you my partner in crime so quickly. I don't know if I can really trust you at your word. I gotta see what you can do first. How exactly do you plan on doing that? Is it like a test? There's a cool set of ruins to the northwest. It's got gr a green roof tiles and a bunch of wood around the base. You shouldn't miss it. He points at you dramatically. I want you to go there and defeat the skeletons inside of it. If you can do that and bring me back a skeleton skull, I'll, then I'll consider you my permanent partner in crime. Think you can handle it? Uh, what do you guys think? That sounds really fun. Um. No okay. problem. Yeah. yeah, we'll handle oh God. it. Great! I look forward to seeing you succeed, possible partner. The teenager returns to his own business and steps away from you, although you notice him making the occasional glance in your direction with great anticipation. Oh boy. Think about it. Skeleton, like, bah, bah. And then we can bring back a head. Necessary now. I wonder if those ruins would be relevant. I mean, I if they're ruins. Even if there's nothing to look at inside these homes, it's interesting to just see how they're all structured. This one's got a pretty painting. This person's wardrobe is empty. They should probably Why are you looking stuff. in their wardrobe? People are in their homes, are we? This painting's What, are we just doing weird. a little tour around here? It's it's the, these the lodgings painting. are uninhabited. Square people just don't stay in their houses. Huh. You said this place You're seemed deceptively like large, but it might also be deceptively empty. Right. Yeah. Well, there's bound to be a reason for that, don't you think? Why the painting smells like flowers? <laughs> Some of the houses are way bigger than others. Yeah, Ooh, these plants are so cute. They're all really nice, though. I'm gonna climb this. Ah, oh, it's hard to climb. The shelves? I don't think they're made for climbing. Yeah, but if you look at it, and tilt your head a little bit and squint, kind of looks like a ladder. We're trying to be stealthy That's in the house. Let's not break fair. anything, please and thank you. Oh, we're trying to be stealthy? Well, I don't think we're particularly trying to cause a scene. This feels like the heart of the town here. True. Hmm, it does. All right. There's that person sitting on this bench. Hmm. Oh. Hello. 
The woman sits on the bench calmly. She looks around the village and hums. Seems pretty quiet today, huh? She notices you approach and smirks. Well, maybe not for long. I heard more chosen were on the way to our village. Looks like the rumors were true. She nods. Nice to meet you all. Hope you enjoy your time here. Just watch out for monsters and mischievous teenagers, yeah? Noted. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the warning. Sup, guys? I'm back. Oh, oh welcome, welcome back. Person down here, too. Oh, hello. The older woman approaches you. I'm sorry, but have you seen my son by chance? She rubs her head. I turn my back for one second and he seems to have vanished. He's always getting into some sort of hijinks. Hopefully he's not interacting with that Tammy person again. <clears throat> she turns back to you. If you do happen to see him, just make sure he's not doing anything foolish. Like monster hunting. That seems to be his current obsession. Despite the obvious dangers. I don't know where he got these ideas of power and grandeur. Wow, whoever her son is, they probably get along with that other kid we met. Oh, <gasps> pretty. pretty. Hello, I love the purple in. aesthetic. It smells good. Ooh, what are they making? All right, fellas, where are you? Ooh, I Pancakes. Bet. We're in the big house over here. Oh, Lord, the big house. Yoo-hoo. Here, I see you. Hold on, I'll help. Okay, I know, I know. I had apprehensions okay. about, like, like taking Do you see a before, running Izumi? Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello. I got you. I'm coming. I'm so sorry. Wow. You're good. You're good. Oh, I oh, there's a thing up. back here. Oh, hi. Did you find anything down there? It's a basement. Psst. Blue person. Ooh. Blue person. Oh, what huh? is your name? Which blue person? I think they meant blue hair, but I'm not sure. Well, not that one, because I already know her name is Siggy. Berries! You. Oh, hi. Not my berries. Thank you. What is your name? Uh, my, 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 my name is Kat, by I'm the way. I'm Signe. Signe. Probably Siggy. better Siggy. than... Apparently, my name is too difficult, and so that one has decided to call me Siggy, and that one has decided to call me Iggy! Oh, Lord. It's Lovely. really cute, honestly, I think. Well, I'll call you whatever Apparently, you want. Apparently, you cute! Yeah, this place has seen better days. Huh. Yeah. Unless it's just, like, Woo. aesthetic moss. Huh. No. I wonder is this where... Is a disrepair. Are these oh, this is where we pray to those Yeah, is this like a place people? of worship or something? This oh, great god of... What are the gods again? Uh, uh, there's uh, someone uh, of Alune, love. Right? Wasn't oh, there oh, like I an stole one of the books. I have it. I have it. I have it. It's a... Uh, oh, uh, great uh, god Oh, you stole it. Understandable. love Alune. Oh. Um, that doesn't sound Entry, right. That doesn't sound right. Leave. I see what I happened. read. Hmm? What? 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 Huh? The brief history mentioned that they presumed the goddess of Alune was dead, and that pink-haired individual oh. sat mentioned them as well. Mm. Oh, the and the person in the shop. That god. That makes and sense because they the... are seemingly dead. It's gone to disrepair. Since who is there to upkeep it? That's it is true. That's makes sense really too. Sad actually. Because <laughs> the shrine over there we came from, they were saying that there was offerings for that person. That means this village must be very old. Yeah, well, you know, mm -hmm. what's dead is dead, am I right? Yep. <laughs> hmm. Even this Man. path gets a little bit more run down in this direction. Smithing and smelting. Hmm. Let's see this if they have anything. This a useful person to know. Smithing yeah, we were just saying we need, we need uh, weapons and stuff, right? Right, right. Ooh. What is this? Oh, hello. Hmm? The man stares at the sets of armor and weaponry that rest along the wall of the blacksmithery. Hmm, quite the impressive work we have here. However, he frowns. But is it enough to defeat the monsters in the wilderness? He shakes his head. What am I saying? Of course it is! But just to be sure, maybe Leo will let me take some on a test drive for quality control. Yes, yes, that's all. You notice his pockets appear rather barren. I have a feeling they, that will not return from a test drive. <laughs> so then this is the man in question. Right. Yes. The blacksmith polishes a weapon behind the counter. When he notices you walk over to him, he smirks and his eyebrows rise. Ah, what do we have here? He sets the weapon aside and places his hands on his hips. If I didn't know any better, I'd guess that you were another Chosen. That's right. 
Right on yeah, the money. <laughs> Whoever you are, then, welcome in. The name's Leo. Try not to forget it. He motions to the walls of the shop. As you can see, I'm the blacksmith in our little village here. I've got all your armor and weapon needs. Anything catch your eye? Hmm. Well, now that you talk about it, there's this one person who's trying to convince us to go and become their partner in monster hunting. And, you know, I want to be really prepared when we do that because that kind of feels like a big deal. So, like, do you have anything that could help with that? Oh, we got a real pro on our hands, don't we? He rests his elbows on the counter. Monster hunting, huh? Can't say I heard that one every day. Most people around here aren't interested in that kind of thing. He tilts his head. Lucky for you, you came to the right guy. Yeah, right. I used to be a hunter of my own not too long ago, but I had to give that up. I settled here to get away from it and not tempt myself, but then, what do you know? Monsters are just as common out in the middle of nowhere as they are in the city. He shakes his head. But enough about me. Let's talk more about you and this hunting business you're interested in. You want to go for some big game or something small? Anything works. Anything and everything, really. He considers your words. You seem pretty strong, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to give you some pointers or some tips. Actually, if you're interested, I've got an old weapon from my hunting days still hidden around here. Maybe someone like you will be able to get more use out of it. He straightens up. Hidden somewhere on the western coast is a little sandy island with a couple of palm trees on it. Underneath one of the trees is a chest. If you find the chest, take the stuff out and return it to me. I'll fix it up for you. Deal? Uh, yeah. Strange. Sure. Sure. Alright then. In that case, I hope I'll be seeing more of you. After all, behind every successful hunter is a skilled smith. Am I right? <laughs> he returns to polishing the blade. Let me know if you need anything else from me. I also do weapon repairs, if you're interested. Of course, that would require you to have a weapon in the first place, obviously. Of course. Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, what I... What a have... nice guy! Yeah, very nice. I, I have clears everything. loved following you all around for a little bit, but I think I'm gonna go off on my own for a second. I'll meet up with you guys later. Hi! Right. Right. See you around! It was uh, nice stay to safe. You. Nice to meet you guys. Me uh, stay safe, Sleeping Beauty. <gasps> I have oh, a you got a nickname! I know! <sighs> it's beautiful out here. It's interesting, those people. I kind of want to learn more about them, but at the same time... Oh. Stay there, sweet bear. Oh god, okay, let's just go. Let's just go between them. Don't feel like dying again. What was that even about? Hmm. Let's see. Can I get a okay, decent view from over here of the town? Half decent. Well. Anything in here that I can borrow, possibly? Just temporarily? No? Okay. Well. Looks like I'm just gonna stay out here. Hopefully that bear doesn't come too close. I just need to take a breather after everything. So I can't die. Chosen by some random gods that decide my fate. Well, gods, if you're listening, let's have some fun. 